Okay. I want to take a moment to just pause and maybe reiterate why I'm here and who I am and what I'm doing. Um, okay. So my name is Vanessa. I'm a 30 year old woman living with multiple autoimmune diseases in Austin, Texas. I was diagnosed with Addison's disease in 2016, um, which means that my adrenal glands are no longer functioning properly and I am living on life-saving steroids to function. In that same year, 2016, I was also diagnosed with osteoporosis, which is the deterioration of my bones. Um, due to the steroids that I'm taking to keep me alive. I was diagnosed with vitiligo, the skin pigment discoloration disease in, I think, 2015. And I'm sure I've got a few more autoimmune diseases that I haven't figured out or might end up with later. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening in my body right now. Um, and... The reason I created this space or this platform or whatever you want to call it is because when I was first diagnosed with Addison's disease, I felt really alone and isolated and I didn't feel like I had answers or clarity or support or really anyone there who truly understood what I was going through. My family and friends are amazing and I'm incredibly grateful for them. However, there's something different about having someone understand what's happening in your body who has gone through a similar experience. Um, and anyone that's gone through a trauma or um, also has something serious that has happened to them or really anything along those lines where you can find someone that you identify with, there's, there's a special bond in there. Um, so I created a space for that uh, where I am here just sharing my journey um, of my life, of what's happening with my body, my victories, my challenges, my trials, my tribulations, what's working, what's not working. Um, but I think it's really important that I reiterate in case I have not done so enough in the past that I am not a medical professional in any way, shape or form. Surprise. <laughs> I'm just a person, a real person living with chronic illnesses and someone who's trying things and seeing what happens and just sharing those results on that journey with you because I wanna share and create a space where people can connect and communicate with one another. And everything that I've done for myself works, has or has not worked for me, um, but that does not always necessarily the same for everyone. Everybody is unique and individual and their bodies respond totally differently to different things. So uh, it is incredibly important for you to be in tune with your own body and know what's happening and have a team, a medical professional team to support you along your journey as well. I call myself a wellness warrior because I've had to worry through my wellness journey pretty much on my own for the most part. I have received 200 hour Hatha training in yoga, which gave me a pretty good extensive training in my personal practice and my body. I've received 50 plus hours of advanced anatomy and sequencing, learning a little bit more about in depth responding of the body through postures and yoga practice. I've received like 90 plus hours of specialized yoga training and children's training and like six plus years of actually applied teaching as well as in the last two years received my Reiki master's attunement that I've been practicing on myself as well. I have been researching and studying and practicing food through medicine for years on end and that's it. <laughs> it's all just these trainings and my experiences in life and my applied practices through movement and breath and meditation and magic and food that have given me the language 
the results that I'm having right now and that I'm sharing. So these videos, when I share them, it's just my own experience. It's not going to be anyone else's and I only aim to bring about an awareness as well as bring about um, support to those that need it because this doesn't have to be a space for just people with Addison's disease. Um, I want to reach out to those with chronic illness just in general to let them know that you're not alone. You don't have to do this by yourself. You can have support. You can have support from like a real person who can be there for you. And I've, I feel so blessed already to have been that support for so many of you because I've been in contact with so many of you about how your doctors are not ready to diagnose you or not properly diagnosing you or not giving you your proper steroids or your emergency injection kit. And I am so glad, one, that you found me and that you've reached out and that you asked for that assistance and that in addition I've been able to guide you towards the appropriate ways to go about getting your life-saving steroids and taking care of your body. Uh, but again, I am not a medical professional. I am just a person living their life and trying to feel better. What I experience for Addison's disease and what I share about my experience with Addison's disease is just that. It's my experience. You may relate, it may resonate, but we may not have the same experiences in our bodies because every person is so unique and so different that there's no way we're going to feel the same about anything. So that's just a disclaimer about that. <laughs> I really just want to help others feel amazing and know that you're not alone and know that you can work through it and move through it and find ways to support this new life that you have because that's really what it is at the end of the day is we have this new life we have this new body we have this new opportunity to look at the world in a new way and what we do with that is really up to us yeah the majority of the time that I make these videos as well is like prime brain fog time. So these videos are not fact. They are, in fact, moments of my life and glimpses into my brain and into my thought process. But I'm not a scientist. I am just a person 